Hello everyone, my name is Roya, and today uh, I've been wanting to do an, another Iranian books video um, for a while now because it's been like a year and a half since I last did one, something like that. I'm not even sure anymore. Um, and so many other Iranian books have come out since then and a lot of ones that were already out but I've read them since then, all of that. But And now with kind of today's political climate, it definitely seemed like a good idea to do a uh, Iranian book recommendations video again just you know highlighting kind of the ones that uh people should read in today's world and that kind of have some relevance some of them don't really like some some of the ones I'm going to mention are just some of my faves that kind of highlight the Iranian experience in a particular way but um a lot of these are mostly having to do with just you know themes that we still see today and all of that so I'm going to start by talking about Together Tea by Marjan Kamali and this is about a girl who left Iran when she was really little like eight years old and um experiences the whole like going, you know, getting told that America is super bad when she's in Iran and then she gets to Iran and sees that the news is like highlighting kind of like really just putting stereotypes and like bad stuff about Iran in the news in America, all of that. And then um, she grows up and she f goes back to visit Iran because she doesn't really know what she's doing with her life and all of that stuff. And then she like meets a guy there who's also an Iranian American who went back to visit Iran and blah, blah, blah. So it's definitely a really interesting book and really kind of touches on like there are some really good quotes in here about what racism is like put in the news on purpose almost and how what you're kind of told by the media is not necessarily true. So I think it's a really excellent book that way and I highly recommend it. Americanized by Sara Saidi is a memoir about uh, her growing up and as an undocumented immigrant um, from Iran and she was two when she went from Iran to the US um, with work visas and all of that and then she finds out when she's in middle school or something that um, that her whole family is actually undocumented and it is a really really interesting account of what it's like to be undocumented in the US and how it's, you know, nobody comes here to be undocumented specifically. Like, they're trying to flee their country the quickest way they can because stuff's going down. Um, and, you know, my mom was like 18 when she left, in, uh, she left Iran and it was about the same time. Um, and so I kind of know how, like, desperate so many people were to leave. And like my my own mom and her siblings didn't do anything um, under you know undocumented wise. Um, they got here with like student visas and they you know did all the stuff that they needed to to get citizenship and all of that. But a lot of people probably didn't in the wake of everything that happened with the revolution in Iran and all of that stuff. So essentially, this is a really good book about growing up as an undocumented immigrant and it's definitely a must read today honestly with all the issues surrounding undocumented immigrants and especially if you're not sure how you feel about people coming to the country illegally and all of that it's it really touches on why people actually do that and how it's not done with any kind of like you know, no one, no one tries to be an undocumented immigrant, basically. And I really, really love this book. It's so good. Another really good memoir about uh, growing up as an Iranian immigrant is Funny and Farsi by Firuz Dumas. And this is about um, a, basically her account of coming to Iran as a young child and then kind of growing up Iranian in America. And just all of the, and this is also in the time of the Iran-Contra scandal dealio and how her dad had like all this trouble finding jobs all of a sudden um, and all of that basically even though he was like really high up in his field and everything just because, um, just because on the basis of his being Iranian so people would be like thinking they wanted to hire him and then when they realize that he's Iranian specifically and not just Middle Eastern from somewhere else, um, they, they go, oh, sorry we actually can't hire you and all of that. It's just very weird how that's the kind of thing that happened back then and that's the kind of thing that's in danger of happening again today if the conflicts with Iran kind of, you know, continue in the same fashion. 
And one more memoir again about um, an Iranian immigrant leaving Iran and all of that is Persepolis by Marjan Satrapi. And this is a graphic novel memoir and it really touches on so many important themes as well. And a lot of it is the same type of stories that a lot of Iranian immigrants have um, and what they encounter and everything. And it's such a quick read. It's a really great graphic novel. So I think that if you, you know, if you're not sure if you want to like dive in to like a book that um, on this topic and you're not sure like how much you really know about it that it might be like really a lot of information I think that's a really this is a really good book for kind of breaking that down and um, digesting it in a really simple way and it's just such a powerful book as well and I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with A Very Large Expansive Sea by Tahir Mafi. This uh, is the art copy. It's not the actual cover, but um, basically this is about a girl who is Iranian and Muslim. And uh, this takes place the year after the September 11th the terrorist attacks happened and how, you know, Every, basically every Muslim in the U.S. basically got, like, the blame for that, even though it was literally just blamed on Islam for no reason. And again, it's another really good um, account of kind of what is in danger of happening again, what type of prejudice people are in danger of facing again in this country. So Here to Stay by Sarah Farizan is about a boy who his school is kind of protesting their school mascot because their school mascot is the Gunners and the, um, a bunch of his friends are kind of thinking like a guy with a gun is not really a, that great of a school mascot. That's kind of weird. Um, so then he ends up being like photoshopped onto the mascot and they make him look like a terrorist and all of that and it spins into out of control into this huge deal because even the person who like did it had no idea what they were actually doing and like the prejudice that ensues is crazy and there's a lot of there are a lot of really great quotes in this book about specifically like when you're a person of color what kind of stuff you have to deal with and of course, I love Sarah Farizan's other books um, as well. Tell Me Again How a Crush Should Feel is my uh, my number one favorite of hers for sure. Um, I love this one because it's about a queer Iranian American girl who has to kind of deal with, you know, she doesn't tell anyone that she's queer because her family wouldn't understand, like because it's in her culture, it's such a bad thing and all kinds of stuff. And um, another thing that I love about this is that the person who you think is the love interest is not and I'm just such a sucker for stories about um basically the main character getting punched in the gut stabbed in the back whatever having to overcome it and coming out so much better and happier in the end because like better things actually do happen and it's this is just such a good book and I absolutely love it and can't recommend it enough just don't go into it thinking it's a fluffy romantic book because it is not it is brutal just so you know Darius the Great by Adib Khoram is about a an Iranian American boy. He's half half Iranian, um, like myself, and he goes to Iran to visit his grandparents and all of that. And it is definitely like really interesting the kind of experience he has there, where it's completely different from um, his experience growing up in the United States and how and how he almost finds himself there in a way in a way that he never did before and he almost fits in and all of that and it's such an interesting book about so many different things including kind of how mental health is treated in Iran versus the US and it has so many interesting themes about the Iranian story overall and I absolutely love this book. Next, I am going to highlight another one of my favorite authors um, and talk about three of his books. And um, obviously, that is Abdi Nazemian. And Like a Love Story is his most recent book that just came out. And I absolutely love this book. It is, um, it takes place in uh, the height of the AIDS epidemic. And it follows three teenagers who are kind of dealing with everything that's going on and one of the main characters is an Iranian boy who has never been able to come out to anybody about the fact that he is gay because all that's associated with it is AIDS and so he's afraid that if he so much as voices the fact that he's gay um, that he will 
get AIDS. Just, he has all these horrible thoughts about, like, even if he shares a toilet seat with somebody that he could get AIDS. And, and what's interesting about his aspect of this story is that he has the whole cultural aspect as well. It just shows how much more you have to deal with as a queer person of color than as a queer person just overall, um, because there is a whole other, like, corner to the story. And he also wrote The Walk-In Closet, which actually has a lot of the sim similar themes to Like a Love Story, but it's adult and it's very different as well. Um, and it's about a girl named Kara who is um, American and her best friend Bobby is Iranian-American and he is gay, and but they have been masquerading as boyfriend and girlfriend for like years because he doesn't want his parents to know that he's gay. So when they assume that they're, that like they're dating, um, they don't correct them and say, oh no, we're just best friends. Like they totally just run with it and they just never correct anybody. Um, so, and it's such a crazy story. And there's a lot of Iranian cultural stuff in this and a lot of just stuff that like, I don't want to spoil anything about this book, but um, there are just a lot of very important themes in it. And of course, the last book I'm going to talk about is Abdi Nazimian's other book as well, The Authentics, and it is so underrated. Um, and it also just came out just a few years ago. And it's YA and it's about a girl named Daria who uh, is Iranian American and she finds out that uh, she may have actually been adopted. And it just goes into all kinds of stuff about what culture you're from, et cetera, et cetera. And it is just such a good book overall. And there are also a lot of queer characters in this as well. And it's so good. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found some uh, interesting Iranian books to read. Let me know what your favorite Iranian inspired books are in the comments and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye.